All right. So welcome back. We're going to do some Heritage Blasters today, 2023. I just found these at Target. Kind of surprised that I found them because this product just came out. So I decided, you know what, I'll, I'll grab a couple. So here are some of the cards that I have from last... Uh, or actually, I think these were actually from two years ago. Some of the cool things are puzzle pieces. You can put them together like this. Uh, they make a picture. These are the in-action inserts. Not all of them have puzzle piece backs, but some of them do. And so these are the ones that I grabbed just really quickly out of uh, some random cards that I had laying around that do have those puzzle pieces. It's a really cool feature of this product that I actually do really like. Here are some other simple inserts. This one is like a, a newspaper article. Uh, I think that's a Charlie Blackman card. Here's a World Series box score. Um, this one is especially uh, cool to me because I'm a Dodger fan. Other things that we're going to look for, like right here, if you see this, um, we're looking for high numbered cards. So anything between 400 and 500 is going to be um, slightly SP. Um, so those would be some chase worthy cards. Um, I don't, I, I mean, I just grabbed these really quickly, so nothing too crazy in here. Um, just some random players, uh, just to give us something to reference for the video. Let me put these up. All right. So here we go. Let's start opening. Heritage hasn't always been my favorite product. Sometimes they do a really good job, sometimes not. Um... I remember in 2021, I didn't think so highly of this product. Um, it just seemed like they just did it super, super quickly. Last year's was pretty good. This year is actually seems like they did a little bit more of a decent job. Looks like they spent a little bit more time on it. Um, so that's why I grabbed a couple. Since this just came out the other day, I think two days ago, um, I wanted to grab a couple because... There's some hobby box videos out there, but there's nothing as far as blasters go. So I thought, you know what, might as well get something out there so that you guys can see uh, whether you like it or not. Here's what we're looking for. Go ahead and pause it if you want to. Zoom on in, nothing too crazy. Some of the things that we'll ma major looking for are like some of those black frames. Um, we'll look for the high numbered cards, 400 to 500. Um, autographs, we'll look for the dual relics, we'll look for bat cards, jersey cards, um, alternate jersey pictures are also short prints, and the rookie cards, just the normal rookies. Maybe get Christopher Morrell. Um, yeah, let's see. So I'm going to go through the front side of the card, each of the packs, and then I'll flip it over to the back side. That way we can see if we do have any of those high-numbered cards and what the backs are, are telling us. It's really hard to tell that you have a special card from the front unless you exactly know what picture you're looking for. Um, so yeah, let's let's see what we've got. All right, nothing there. Next pack. Carrasco, Perdomo, Joe Ryan. Love Joe Ryan. Oh, that's cool. All stars. Kershaw and McClanahan. I guess, yeah, those were the starters, right? From last year. Goldschmidt, Vlad. So that's the first baseman. That's the first base pairing and the starting pitcher pairing. Pablo Lopez. So let's flip them over and see if we have any high numbers. Okay, so here's one. Pablo Lopez. Nice. I like Pablo. I've got him on my fantasy team. Alright, just base. Whole lot of base coming out of this set. Alright, next pack. Lopez. Nola. Oh, nice. Brett Beatty. He's pretty good. It's like two or three bucks, I bet. McNeil. Oh, nice. Aaron Judge. Cover boy. Hey, Freddy. Love me some Freddy.
All right, let's flip them over and see what we've got. And it looks like nothing. So Judge is going to have a lot of extra cards in this set um, to kind of commemorate his season from last year, uh, hitting 62 home runs and breaking the American League record. So they throw in a few extra Aaron Judge cards in this set to kind of commemorate that. So we'll look for those. I think that those are the first, it's either the first four or five cards of the, of the series. Oh, happy. Mookie. All right. New York's finest. Okay, let's check out the back. Nothing. So you're going to get a high-numbered card. The odds of getting a high-numbered card are one out of every three packs. I can't remember if that's for the Blasters or for the Hobbies. I think it might be for both. All right, Jones. <laughs> Bell. Oh, that's kind of cool. Are those stamps? Huh. I wonder if you can actually use them. Interesting. Okay. Another all-star insert. Shortstop. Trey Turner struggling. Right now in Philly. And nothing really going on that pack either. All right, next pack. Almost done with this blaster. Mm -hmm. That's cool. He's got two of his cards from before in years past. So they, yeah, so there's card number three. That's cool. Voigt, Buxton, Lariano. Ezekiel Tovar rookie card. I swear every year the Rockies have like six rookies and none of them ever really seem to do much. Alrighty. Gosman. Gore. Smith Najigba. I wonder if his brother's that wide receiver that's in the NFL now. Just got drafted by the Mariners. Jeter Downs. Ian Happ. Check the numbers. Hey, look at that. Gene Segura. That's a cool picture with the ball midair. I like that. McCutcheon in the wrong jersey. Another All Stars, T.L. Hall. I'm so sick of seeing that guy. Face. Oh man, is he ever gonna make it to the show? Flashback. Okay. Miranda and Straw. Check for high numbers. Nothing. All right, so just a quick little recap. Gene Segura and Pablo Lopez are still our only two hits, at least to the naked eye, from now. I always go back through later, and sometimes, especially in Heritage, I'll find something later on that was good that I didn't realize was good at the time. Some more inserts. Another all-star insert. Judge and Acuna, that one's cool. Pavetta. No, Wilson. Nothing really going there. Yep. A bunch of base. What you sign up for, though, with Heritage. All right. Nolan Jones. Choi. Cabrera. Ooh, Nolan Gorman. He's crushing it this season. Reed Detmers, the little gold cup, because he was... A rookie last year. Alright, just double checking. I think that Redemers is the only 
good card in this pack. Probably worth like what, maybe a buck or two? It's the little wins that matter. All right, moving along. So let's get an autograph in this one. Something big, maybe a Chrome card? A surprise Chrome card? All right, another double side-by-side -side card. Oh, it's the same exact one from before. JJ Blade. Oh, look, nice. Another stamp card, the Detroit. Those are cool. I wonder if you can actually use those. Maybe I'll maybe I'll find out. Maybe I'll just do it for fun. All right. Come on, give me something good. Ugh. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've seen this pack before. O'Neill Cruz, Jerks and Profar. Chris Bryant. All right. Who knows? Maybe this, maybe one of those was good. Let's see. No. You win some, you lose some. And inherited, you lose a lot. But you do it for the nostalgia. Nice, Gunnar Henderson. It's a cool little insert. Hopefully he does better. He'll get there. I don't think they're gonna send. I don't think he's in danger of being sent down, but he could really do himself a favor and start doing better. And my fantasy team. Oh yeah, baby, Trace Thompson. I think that's the first Trace Thompson card I've ever got. Nice. No, no short prints, no high numbered. Moving right along. Sorry, I'll try to go faster. I know I'm a little slow at ripping. It's a preview video, so just want to make sure that we see the cards well, rather than just looking for the hits. Solaire. I love Solaire. I don't know why. He's got a lot of swag. I've said that before in other videos too, but might as well say it again. I think he's cool. So the Reese Hoskins, or yeah, the Reese Hoskins card is a high numbered card. Like I said, these high numbered cards, you know, they're not going to be worth anything too crazy. Maybe at most like, like a mid range guy like Reese Hoskins, maybe like five or six bucks at most you just it just depends hey adley rushman nice let's go rookie card and the gold cup i like that that's, that's a crisp card crisp picture Little side by side then and now throwback jersey all right anything here no. All base. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of show you this base stack. Very tall. And then the hit stack. Pretty small. So not much going. Um, low floor on this product. So let's just review real quick. Judge. Got two of those judge cards. Reed Demers. Gene Segura. Pablo Lopez. So yeah, nothing too crazy. All very middle of the road type of pulls. Um, low floor and not the highest ceiling. But then again, I, these cards are 25